Welcome back everybody. Welcome to Tech with Benefits. I'm Daniel and today we have a customizable video. Sure, let's roll with that. We're talking about Goodlock. Goodlock is one of my favorite Samsung apps that gets developed. There's a separate team within Samsung that actually contribute and make these features. And look, if you haven't used Goodlock before, it's this app that has modules inside of it that allows you to completely customize the look, the feel, and the interactivity of your device. And the best part about it is a lot of features that end up making it into the main part of One UI actually begin their life within Goodlock. So if you're looking to see where One UI is headed, this is a great place to start because a lot of stuff started here and then gets matured into official versions of the software. For example, modes and routines. That app started as an app within Goodlock way back with the Galaxy Note 8. So you never know what could be the next thing that goes from Goodlock into the main part of your phone. But today we're gonna to be doing something quite different with Goodlock. Rather than giving you an overview over what everything does, we're just gonna show you. So we're gonna go through every module step-by-step step within Goodlock and show you what it can customize and then start with a fresh, clean S23 Ultra and see where it ends up at the end. Let's go. Where we're going to start first is Theme Park. You might be wondering, can I go on a ride? No. Theme Park is the app or the module within Goodlock that allows you to create and customize your own theme for your phone. What's a theme you ask? Well, Samsung it, through the Galaxy Store has themes that you can download, I guess, to theme every aspect of your phone from the colors of your notification drop-down shade, from the way your app icons look. There's a whole bunch of things that themes can do. But Theme Park allows you to be the designer. You have complete autonomy over lock screen design, over notification colors, over app icons. It's all within Theme Park and you have the power to control it. So if you're watching the video now, you can see that I'm going through almost every single aspect of the phone and customizing it. I've got the icons there. I've got the wallpaper that I'm selected. I've got the colors to match the wallpaper. So I've got the different shapes and icons. I've got icon colors. Things like the space between notifications is customizable. The keyboard that I can customize, it's realistically all there and you can see what the end result was after I've been done with Theme Park. From there, after Theme Park, we go into Pentastic. Now, Pentastic is the module within Goodlock that allows you to customize how your pen looks and feels with the phone. So you can change the air command. So the traditional air command that you get out of the box is your default. You can also change the pointer so you can design your own pointer. So when the pen gets close to the screen, what that little pointer looks like, there's a whole bunch of ones that are in there or you can customize your own. I've gone with the love heart here to use that pointer. And then there's the different air commands that you can use. There's little circle ones. I really like the line. However, I've gone to decide with the retro. The retro takes me back to like the Note 4, Note 3 days. What there also is, is a sound that when you draw the pen out from the phone that you can get it to make. You also have the option to customize when you double tap, hold the pen button and double tap on the screen, you can get it to do a function. And as you can see from the list there, there isn't a lot that it can't do. After you've customized the pen, this is where you can now go into creating a moving wallpaper in Wonderland. So Wonderland, the name doesn't really give you a, a realistic understanding of what the title is. But Wonderland allows you, yeah, to create this wallpaper and you can customize different effects for the wallpaper to respond to your touch. So what I've got here is a motion effect that when I draw on the screen or when I'm interacting, pops up little love heart bubbles. bubbles. And again, you can change how that all works. And there's also little things that you can do when your phone is moving, the wallpaper will respond to that movement and you can customize and design that to any way you like. Next one is a big one, it's Lockstar. Lockstar is the module within Goodlock that allows you to customize the lock screen and you're always on display. Samsung has made great strides in One UI 5 to allow much more flexibility with lock screen customization and ease of customization. 
this app here really gives you extra flexibility. You can move things around, so places in different areas. You also can add different stickers and effects. You can move uh, notifications, you can move the clock. It's a lot more freeform than what the standard customization of your lock screen is. You also have the option down the bottom to add, I wanna call it like a taskbar, where you can have apps down the bottom, a list of apps that you can launch straight into uh, when you unlock your phone. And it just has, it creates co a completely different look to what you normally would get with your lock screen. You also then have always on display customization. Now there's not a lot more, you can't move things around on always on display. And the reason for that is because always on display needs the flexibility to move around on its own to prevent screen burn. A lot more clock options you can have and decide what type of information to decide to leave on there. The big one is the lock screen and you can add more in there so you have more to do before you unlock your phone. Now, if you're a bit of a keyboard aficionado, like if you're someone who has your own custom mechanical keyboard, you might wanna think about theming out the keyboard on your phone. So another module within GoodLog is Keys Cafe. Samsung developed this one so you have complete autonomy over the customization of your keyboard. You have the option to have what buttons you like. You can substitute out different characters. You can have different rows that you can add in there to make it a bigger keyboard. You can make the spacebar bigger. You literally have the option to just add whatever you like to your keyboard. And what you can see from on the screen now is you can add in different characters and I've got multiple rows of emojis. Now I'm not saying this is practical, <laughs> don't get me wrong. But what this does do is it does give you the option to really spec out your keyboard so if you are someone who hates going to find the other characters or going to the emojis, put your most favorite ones in your keyboard and away you go. Within this app as well, you also have different effects. So like, let's say you have a keyboard with RGB lighting. You can effectively create that type of effect within your keyboard. So when you press it, it creates that mechanical sort of look. It doesn't create the mechanical feel. That would be really hard, but it does give you that mechanical sort of look that it's pressing and it's got RGB lighting. The most craziest thing is, I think something that started up uh, with keyboards in general is speed typing and speed testing. You can play keyboard games. So you can test out your new keyboard with a game. And there's different ones. There's ones where you type out sentences and you need to get it accurately. Or there's, the, there's one that's like Tetris that is basically like words are raining down and you need to type them out before they hit the floor. It's there. Uh, have a go and let me know what your score is down in the comments below. Within GoodLock 2, you also have the option to customize your navigation area. So by default, Samsung phones have the navigation buttons down the bottom. Some people leave them on. My wife has an S23 Ultra and leaves hers on. Anyway, uh, so you have the option to go into Navstar and customize what the buttons can do. However, if you use gestures like me, you'll immediately not worry about that, but you can actually customize the gesture bar. You can customize its width, you can customize its sensitivity, and you can make it a bit more transparent. So that way, at least it doesn't intrude. I don't like having the gesture bar there at all. I prefer it just clean. However, if you do, but you want it minimal, that option within Navstar exists for you. My favorite good luck module actually would have to be home up home up is allows you to customize your home screen experience with a bit more detail. Probably my favorite thing that it does is it allows you to loop your pages. One of the most annoying things ever, especially on the app screen is when you're swiping to through your pages and you get to the end and you have to go back. Like let's say you have four or five pages of apps you have to go all the way back to page one, whereas looping pages, you can just, go from page four straight to page one, and it just keeps on that carousel and loops around. The other thing that's really great is if you are someone who doesn't like the looping pages at all, and you just want a big list, you can turn that on. And then you can just have a big apps list that you can scroll through, much like uh, some of your other Android launches have. I find as well that You've got options to customize things like the finder access rather than have, you also have the option to hide your app icons, labels. So if you 
think you're quite good at recognizing the label of an app without needing the word there, turn that off. You also can customize the background color of your apps list. So as you can see here, when I go up into my apps list, there's no words. There's just the icons and the background color. Clean? Sure. Uh, not for me, but it's clean aesthetically. Perhaps so the best part of Home Up is the fact you can customize your folders. So you can create a pop-up folder and that means it's not going to dominate your entire screen. When you Where you press the folder will pop up a little menu. You also can change how many things are in the folder so or the layout of the folder. So you can have it be the app icon grids in your folder can be shrunken down so you can fit a lot more on the one page. What it also has is some AI to actually recognize what's in your folder and then suggest a title for you as well. Quite clever. Within HomeUp as well, our Goodlock team have incorporated two other modules into HomeUp, the Share Manager, which allows you to customize your share screen. So whenever you go to share something, what apps pop up, what your favorite apps list are, you can completely customize that experience. And the Task Changer, this is your recents menu, basically. You can customize how your apps appear in your task changer. So it doesn't look like just a big giant card. You can have it be a little bit more reachable or a list, completely up to you. Next one within Goodlock is Clockface. Not gonna spend too much on Clockface. You can actually customize Clockface in other parts of Goodlock. The lock screen customization in particular allows you to sort of customize your clocks. Clockface is just more specific. It's just for clocks. Uh, there is more customization you can do within here to sort of control the information. So there is a bit more granular detail you can have. For ba more basic clock control, just use the lock screen, good lock module, lock star, and you'll get somewhere close to what this provides you. The last one in the main part of the good lock module set is quick star. Quickstar is what allows you to customize your quick panel notifications. So there's a lot that you can do in here. Uh, again, though, this can also be done from Themestar. But if you're not willing to do your entire phone and you just want the quick panel, this is the place to go. What you can do in here, though, is also a bit more granular, kind of like Clockface, in that you can control your status bar at the top. You can remove everything from your status bar if you like and you can have it just show absolute basic information. I don't know if that's for me. I think I'm too used to seeing stuff on there, but because it's here, that just means you have control and flexibility over your phone. And that's what Goodlock's all about. Now within the life up section of Goodlock, these are, these are modules, but they're also independent apps that you can get separately and you don't necessarily need to have Goodlock to have them. So the first one here is Nice Shot. Nice Shot is basically a way to be able to customize your screenshot and screen recording experience. So it can allow you to activate Do Not Disturb when you start screen recording, for example. Or you can disable things like crop snapping within there. You also have Noti Star. Noti Star will allow you to store what apps you've had notifications from and you can kind of keep a list of those apps and what notifications they've given you it just means you have a bit more control and you can see what apps are notifying you so you can maybe go in and disable them if they're not the ones that you want to sort of have around on your phone you also got edge touch edge touch was developed i believe within good lock to alleviate problems that people were having with the dramatically curved displays because in this module here you can control how sensitive the edges of the phone are so you can have it be dragged out a little bit further or you can have it be dragged really narrow so it's really sensitive to touch uh, it just basically gives you a bit of more of an option to control that however with phones being less dramatically curved there might not be as much of a need for it in 2023 nice catch have you ever had that feeling where you've got a vibration on your leg and you pull out your phone and there was no notification nice catch will catch what that note that vibration was so it could have been an app that did something that didn't actually have a notification to show you it will catch that and then show you what it is one-handed operation plus this started as a very basic module but has developed into something that gives you so many different options to be able to do things and control your phone 
you've got left handle settings, right handle settings. You've got an option to customize a, a deep gesture in, angled up, angled down, angled all the way in on both sides of your phone, how wide that spectrum looks. And you can do all that inside this app. And then it basically can give you animations. And then once you've actually set this up and set up to be exactly the way you want, you can have different menu settings pop up. You can have it go back for you, go to recents. It's all there. It, do, it will take some getting used to because it is a drastic difference to the way you normally would interact with One UI. Only do this if you're confident in having good muscle memory over time. I find that because I have gestures on my phone and my wife doesn't, I hand her my phone to use sometimes and she can't handle the gestures. So this might be too much for some people, but if it's just you using your phone, really, really handy. In addition to routines and modes and routines that is baked into One UI, they've got Routines Plus. Routines Plus just allows you extra routines options to plug into the main routines app. For example, touch macros. Touch macros are what allows you to have a touch-based routine. So you can press the play button and it will actually activate certain areas of the screen for you. So think of launching Samsung Pay. You can have you can press the button, it'll swipe up and launch Samsung Pay for you, and then you can use your fingerprint to pay. So things like that. You can have it do things within calculator as well. Like maybe if you wanted to run a algorithm, sure. You know, that can that can happen. The next one in there is multi-star. And this is a perfect example of a good lock module that actually has a lot of its features baked into normal one UI now. A lot of the multi-star stuff that was in there is now in advanced settings. So I won't spend too much time on that. Camera assistant, we've gone through that in a previous video. So maybe go up here or here, wherever I've put it and go and watch that video where I talk about what camera assistant can do. Register is another neat one where you can actually customize your settings menu. So where things are grouped that Samsung have decided, you can completely change that and put things more to the top that you use more frequently. I check for software updates a lot, so I should probably put software update near the top. Uh, you can also see what settings have been changed recently, as well as a double back tap of your phone can now have a different setting that you can control. So you can double tap to launch Google Assistant, for example. The last module within LifeUp is Sound Assistant. Much like Camera Assistant, this module here allows you to customize the sound experience on your phone. The thing I find really helpful with it is the ability to customize my volume menu. So what it actually looks like, how I can actually control things. It gives me extra things. Like if I want to control individual app volumes, super handy that one. And it just means you can place it in different positions. You've got different functions. You can make it show you can, it's just a really well-rounded app. And probably another really handy one is the step volume. If you find that dropping your volume down one is too much, you can change the step volume and it'll drop it down a little bit less each time you press the volume volume down button. So sound assistants are really, really handy one. There's a whole bunch of other stuff you can do in there, like control your music with your volume keys. Instead of changing volume, you can change tracks. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff in there as well, which I won't go into too much detail about. You can have a play around with it. Now, as you can see, after we've played around with good lock, the phone is completely different. The app icons look different. The lock screen's different. Your app drawer is different. The notification panel is different. It's a completely different phone. Now that layout for the, cause I, that I've done quickly is not going to be what I'm going to be running with. However, I will keep some of the good lock module stuff around. I definitely love the home up stuff. Huge fan. I like changing the task changer and I like playing around with sound assistant and now camera assistants on board. I'll keep that around as well. There's a lot that you can do in there. So take from this what you will, what you want. Let me know what you like about Good Lock in the bottom below. Make sure you come out with, make sure you come out, make sure you come hang out with me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe and like this video. It really does let YouTube know that you like what I'm doing. And I'll see you next time. You.